Now it's time to create our room and make our game look like a game. So I right click on room and I'm going to create it. Now this is actually one of these situations where I think it's okay to leave it being called room zero one, or room zero. So as you can see, it's got little tabs here and I'm going to start on the background tab. So I'm going to choose my um, background as level one. Now don't click it as foreground image. So there we go, I've got my background and it's spread out. Now, it's, I'm actually going to make it bigger because I think it's better to see your whole level at once. I'm going to unclick tiling because I actually don't want it to tile. Tile basically means it repeats. And you might see in the video, but it's very faintly there. Um, I wonder if I give it a different background colour, whether that might help the situation at all. So, ah, oh, there we go. You can see they're just there. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to say stretch. So that image is, instead of being repeated, which is what tiling does, I'm going to stretch it out. You can choose either, of course, but you don't have to tile it. That's something lots of people fall for. So I've got my background in place. Now I'm going to go to my objects. And now this is where I place them on the screen. So I'm going to choose to put a player object on. So I just uh, left click and there's my player object. And now I'm going to put on a couple of enemy objects. Now, I can't resize them on here. You have to go back and edit the sprite to resize it, and I'll show you that in, I think, video three. But what I can do, if I realise I've put too many on, is I can right-click on them and make them go away. But for the sake of this, I'm going to put them back on. So enemy objects are there, and my player object is there. Oh, sorry, I pressed the wrong one. So right-click to get rid of that and player object is there. And now I can actually run this level. It won't do anything, but it will launch. So I hit on the green button. It says it's saving the executable. It's going to take a minute actually writing all that code into a form where it will run as a game. It says here it's not responding. I did notice this on some people's screens today. That is something it will normally snap out of. There we go. It's about to load the game. And there we have the first room, and we have my player, and we have my two enemies, but it doesn't do anything. So, in the next video, we're going to talk about how to program those objects so that they'll do something.